This is Real Naughty. You're welcome to Real Naughty. Welcome to Real Nollywood. All right, wonderful people. Thank you so much for staying true with us on another exciting, beautiful, wonderful edition of your most entertaining movie program on television, Real Nollywood. My name is Colin Stoker. Uh, it's good to have you on board. Yes, we've got wonderful, 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 exciting segments to share with you this season. True Nollywood story, knowledge is just just in making of blockbuster films, current events on Nolly event, retro and moment. It's just endless it's a totality of what the motion picture industry in nigeria is all about and that's what we here on real nollywood that's what we represent okay people uh, let's get some the talking all right <laughs> let's go on knowledge is just just in facts and figures about what celebrities are doing in the industry and how well they are doing it and even this season i've got loads of gist for you so let's check it out now i'll be right back Knowledge is just chasing. The Board of Trustees Actors Guild of Nigeria, AGN, releases election procedures for the 2014 AGN national elections. Speaking at the gathering is the Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Prince Ifani DK. This re resolution made on the 17th of September 2014 will be binding on all members. <laughs> Of the bill for this election and by signing of it will be considered as a special clause in the constitution of actors guild of nigeria after extensive meeting with the national executive of the actors guild of nigeria the board reached the following conclusion and therefore resolved as follows that the national election of two years ago was free and fair and leaves no room for fraud and has promoted more peace and unity within the Actors Guild of Nigeria. Two, that the Guild is not financially rich enough to invest on a more expensive election congress which is not fraud free and cannot guarantee us a free and fair election as did the last election. Also, due to the prevailing health issue in Nigeria, Ebola import, we cannot permit the guild to congregate such a loud crowd at one venue. That the 2014 AGN national election will be conducted the same way the last election was conducted, which is by every state chapter that is qualified to vote will vote on the same day with all other qualified state chapters in front of their members and the result sent to the board and the admin by text and email. That all post is open to, con to contest based on AGN constitutional, sorry, that all post with all positions, that all position is open to contest based on AGN constitutional provisions. The posts are as follows. The national president, vice president southeast, vice president southwest, vice president north central, vice president south south, vice president northeast, vice president northwest, national secretary, national financial secretary, Treasurer, Director of Strategy, Research and Documentation Officer, National Publicity Officer, Director of Guild Services, Chief Whip, Assistant National Secretary. 
The AGN National Electoral Committee has announced October 16th for the elections. Uh, well, of course, you saw it when we mentioned it. Uh, it's going to be uh, after the screening. Um, election will at the moment the 16th. Right. 16th, you know. 16th of October. October, yes. Right. Just 16th. Finest OCUKJ is currently filming in South Africa on a film project titled Ayoda and the Mechanic, directed by Sarah Bletcher, the director of the award winning movie Otello Burning. Don't curtail the foot. Yes. It's produced by Robbie Thorpe and actor Terry Fettel. kept searching for a time and a season when we will have enough resources and the way with all in order to take, do a film until the opportunity came in 1992. Surge of wonderful African films from all over the continent. It's amazing to come all the way to Nigeria to uh, participate in something where the arts are being elevated. When I talk about um, acting to my students, I tell them that acting is 20% talent, which is the gift that God gives you. A lot of them wanted Ramsey to play the role I played, which is Shola. It was going to be a stereotype, you know, because putting Ramsey in that role, it would just be the normal Ramsey that everybody knows. I decided to change it and, you know, play on people's intelligence. Today on True Nollywood Story is Darrison Richards. He is an award-winning filmmaker and the CEO of Darrison Richards Films. A writer, producer, director, visual artist and music producer with educational background in both filmmaking and music. He hails from Delta State Ndokwa. He took us through how he journeyed into filmmaking. I studied uh, music in Lagos State uh, University last year. Um, after that, I knew that I had a flair for film and that's because anytime I go to the cinemas, you know, I, there's just this um, instinct that I feel that prompts me to want to just get into the screen and be part of what's happening there. And sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm watching a picture with a friend, by that I mean motion picture. Or movies with a friend and when I see some of the, the angles, some of the effects, I go, wow, how did they achieve that? How did they do that? You know, for me, I, I started developing interest in the um, how, the, how they achieved it. More than great film, I was totally entertained. Um, but as time went, it became clear to me uh, what I needed to do. So kind of the journey of life help to direct me and the flow that I should follow. Yeah, so that's how I started and I said, okay, you know what? Ain't anything worth doing is worth doing well. I wanted to do it right, you know, and I decided to go to film school. You know, so I got admission and started from there. It was deliberate. It was a deliberate attempt to go into filmmaking. Darrison Richard, a graduate of the London Film Academy, and the Institute of Contemporary Music Performance UK started out with shots after his graduation. The shots impressed me made him the overall winner of the first ever 48-hour film challenge in Africa with awards for Best Directing, Best Sound and Best Film. One of my short films I did at school, that's my project at school. Um, the other one was when I got back from school. Um, I've done about three short films. Um, all. Okay, two after I got back from school and one while I was in school. Um, and once again, I didn't want to do, I didn't want to make any movie or any film, whether short or feature, without acquiring the appropriate skill to do it right. You know, so I decided to wait. Um, yeah. So one of the short films was what uh, won me the awards I have today. It's a 48 hour film challenge and um, it's a first in Africa. So I entered for it and uh, I'm glad to be the first ever, first winner of the, the competition. He considers himself as a new traditional filmmaker with a visual art approach. 
a mosaic of his good, bad and ugly experiences in life. For me, my sonic identity in filmmaking is neo-traditional. Um, I am not 100% uh, traditional, I am not 100% uh, contemporary. So it's not core traditional, it's not core contemporary, I just like the fusion of, of cultures. You know, because you want to reach out to a wider audience. If you go too epic, you might lose some of the young, the new generation. If you go too, too contemporary, contemporary, you might lose some of the old generation. So I try as much as possible to bring the two elements together to create a new style. You know, so that's one of the ways you would tell a Darius and Richards film. Um, it's it's new, uh, tra traditional, and um, um, like even when I. Uh, the epic I just finished, uh, the antique. It's an epic piece, right? It was inspired by events um, during the 19th century. But what I did was I tried to uh, introduce some elements that we can identify with so that it's not entirely a hundred and four years away from us, you know. So that that's my approach basically. Uh, even if I decide to do a contemporary uh, film, there will still be elements of, of Asian values in it. And you know, I just like the fusion because I'm a visual artist. Uh, and one of my preferred uh, 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 medium of expressing my, my, my inspiration is mixed media. Uh, I like to bring ideas together to create a new stuff. You know, it's like mixing colors. You bring blue, you bring yellow, it will give you green. You know, so I like to experiment. I like to bring uh, different elements together to create a unique picture. And uh, that's my approach. Darrison has just finished his first ever feature titled The Antique. He shares with us his story. Okay, the journey into the antique movie. Uh, while I was at school, I remember a friend of mine, uh, Tunde, called me and said, a Nigerian, and he said, what next after school? I said, what next? I want to preserve culture. I want to preserve the heritage of Africa. You know, like they say, we, we don't forget what we see. We, we can forget what we hear. But what we see, we don't forget. So that's one of the... the, the uh, uh, why motion picture is very powerful because it's it's a picture you see it you know so I said okay I want to preserve our heritage because I noticed that we're not very good at um, preserving history in this part of the world and we have a rich history it, we have a rich cultural background I mean we're, we're coming from somewhere we're 100 years as a nation so we need to tell the stories to the next generation generations after us and one of the ways to do that is to capture it in in, in pictures but I'm still a motion picture and I have chosen to go motion although in film school you start by learning still picture because motion picture is a succession of stills you know so I decided to capture our, her uh, our, our inheritance in a story now I combine that with the experiences I've had in life and different inspirations and stuff and it was inspired even though it's a fiction of the fictional piece it was inspired by real life events in the 19th century and so my, the, the 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 antique is a title why because it's about a community that had this treasure like, uh, like uh, uh, an earthen vessel um the presence of that vessel brought every good thing to that um plenty of food water uh, flock and what have you, good health, prosperity. So guys, this is Darius and Richards, yeah, um, and uh, you're watching Real Nollywood. Trust me, it's a program you don't ever want to miss because there's always something special for you. Trying to look for the adjective to describe it. When I want to find it, I'll let you know. <laughs> so I know we're going to end.
a great person. He's my friend, and um, he's very funny. He has been my friend for a very long time, and I appreciate him a lot. But coming uh, professionally, I think he's one of the best, and I always tell him that. I always do. I always encourage him. You know, <laughs> I always say, "Go, oh, you can do it." But seriously, he's one of the best. Moses is um, a brother, a friend, a great colleague, a teacher, and everything to everybody that is close to him. So. I would say this is another outstanding project. I know it's going to be stunning. I know it's going to be full of razzmatazz because he didn't bring us out here for a wild goose chase. That's what. I am spirit. mini mini mini. My job in this film is to film this whole film, Invasion 1897, and uh, it's my first project in Nollywood. But for me, I when I look back, I just take it as an experience, you know, and go back and move forward, you know. And I hope and pray that uh, this film does well for Nollywood and for Lance, the director of the film. Say next one, shot four, take one. Action! Mayo mare, uge nebo, mayo mare, uge nebo, mayo mare. It's been a dream for me. Been an ambition. First, as a Bini man from Edo, then Nigeria, now a female, that my career will be incomplete if I do not capture, bring back the events or the series of events that culminated into the world famous Bini Massacre. The script, script writer um, made a statement like uh, ah, we're trying to write the script and then see if we can maybe one or two areas of it uh, that may not be too um, diabolical and all of that. I didn't answer, I just kept quiet because I believe he probably was patronizing me um, wondering if my religious belief will permit me, and not just my religious belief, if I will not find it um, out of place to play the role of a fetish, if I may use that word, a fetish oba. I will not bow to the white man. The masters want free trade. Now they have it. Leave my people alone. If I must trade with the white man, we must do it on equal terms. Adoption is like a reunion for so many of us who have not seen each other for a very long time. And uh, I also believe that this production is going to bring more glory more respect, more dignity to every one of us who has done one or two things in this production. Stand by! Who should come here on action? You are moving to the forest, eh? So there is movement before you are coming in. Are we there? This way, this way. Stand by! Yes. Stand by! Stand by! Stand by! Stand by! Stand by! Stand by! I'm here on the set of Invasion 1897, uh, a movie about uh, Oba Ovara, uh, directed by Lance Lott and Maso Ukiwa. I'm playing uh, the role of Exomo. So far, so good. He's a confident and a trusted hand. 
the other. Uh, Ezra Mod believed so much about the tradition of uh, the Empire, the Dominion Kingdom. Shot in the court, so man, on action, take five counts before you say that word, and everybody does apprehensive. Let's go. Set. Action. Welcome, guys, and thank you for coming. Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, welcome to the set of Invasion 1897. Uh, our producer, director, Ambassador Lancelot Dua, he must wear his right here. We'll be leaving him to call the shot. And then why we do what we have to do from our from our end. Uh, by the way, Jules and Joe, J2 Consort right here, associate producers for this project. James Martin, I am the DOP for the UK pickups of Invasion 1897, directed by the lovely Lancelot in Maswen, and I met Lancelot uh, about a month, month and a half ago. Uh, I was taken to uh, Nigeria to the African Film Festival in Tinapa and Calabar by Mr. Kingsley Ogoro to teach on the Red Camera, uh, of all things. And there I met uh, several very enthusiastic filmmakers, uh, including uh, Lancelot, who uh, invited me to talk to them on his film, and as events would happen, I'm uh, now shooting it for him. Okay. Action! My name is Joseph Higgyamoso of uh, Jeta Consorts, working in conjunction with uh, Julius Emabe, um, J and J, that's where J2 Council comes from. Uh, we're here on set today uh, at the Woolwich Town Hall in London, South East London, the United Kingdom, uh, where we're having the unit production of uh, Invasion 1897, uh, the bulk of which has been done in Benin. You know, we just want to make sure that this, is, uh, this reflects the top end uh, production uh, that it deserves that it has been acclaimed to be and we definitely sure that we'll be able to pull it up you know so we're delighted to be on set with uh, you know the likes of Chuck Evan, of extenders uh, talking about uh, the elder statesman as uh, Rudolf Walker OBE and of course uh, many many uh, crossover British mainstream actors are all here on the set today we'll be coming back to your camera during the course of the day I'm Joseph, and uh, I'm playing Chloe. Good girl. 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 Very relevant, very relevant, you know, additional wise to the, to the whole scope of this film. Yeah, Invasion 1997, the UK beat. This is a dream. This is how we wanted to start it. Uh, <laughs> we're making film. <laughs> Consul James Phillips. I am Spirit! I must trade with the white man. We must do it as equals. Wow, how time flies when you are having fun. I promise you've had a wonderful time output of some real Hollywood today. And I want to say if you're loving what we're doing here and you want to be a part of it, 
our doors are thrown open to you you just send sms or we just get your phone and start clicking that numbers on your television screen just sms details of your own entertaining event that has to do with the motion picture industry now enjoy and voila you are here with us and uh, my twitter handle is at ctalk at c-e-t-a-l-k-r let's make it happen um, remember people before i go it's important to re-announce that we should not buy own c priority copies of Nigerian film because it's killing the industry okay let's say no 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 all right <laughs> okay this is why we're running off on today's exciting edition of real nollywood hope you enjoyed every bit of what we brought for you remember to follow us real nollywood fan page on facebook go like it click it and get information what comes live on the show it's calling stock i stay true to who you are see you same time on the station on the exciting edition of real nollywood bye bye